Welcome back to the Accessible Art History YouTube channel. This week, we are going to be discussing one of the most infamous crimes in art history, the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum Heist. It occurred on March 18, 1990, and is one of the largest property thefts in history. Thirteen paintings valued at a staggering $500 million were taken in just 81 minutes. To learn more about this event, then keep on watching. Before we get started with the heist, it's important to understand Isabella Stewart Gardner and her museum. Isabella was born in 1840 to a wealthy Manhattan family. Her father was a prosperous cloth merchant, and this allowed her access to an excellent education. When she was 16, Isabella took a trip to Europe. While there, she visited some of the best art collections in the world. This inspired her, and she vowed one day to create a collection to share with the public. In 1860, at the age of 20, Isabella married John Jack Gardner, a wealthy man from Boston. Together, they traveled the world and built an impressive art collection. In order to make her dream of a public museum come true, she had a museum built in the style of a Renaissance Venetian palace. She spent a year curating the displays, and the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum was opened to the public in 1903. Today, the museum is one of Boston's most popular attractions. The collection holds about 7,500 works, including some by the greatest names in art history, including pieces by Titian, Rembrandt, Michelangelo, Raphael, Botticelli, Manet, Degas, Whistler, and Singer Sargent. In 2004, a new wing was added. This allowed for more space for exhibitions, art classes, concerts, and a beautiful garden. By doing this, modern-day directors were ensuring that Isabella's legacy of providing art and education to the public was carried on. In 2013, the museum was made a Boston landmark. As mentioned before, the heist took place on March 18, 1990. In the middle of the night, two men dressed as police officers rang the bell and told the overnight guard that they had been alerted to a disturbance. Breaking protocol, the guard let the men in. They tied him and another guard up and proceeded to take the 13 pieces of art. The whole event only took a total of 81 minutes. Here, you can see the 13 works of art that were stolen. They are The Concert by Vermeer, The Storm on the Sea of Galilee, A Lady and Gentleman in Black, and A Self-Portrait by Rembrandt, The Landscape with Obelisk by Flint, Ches Tortoni by Manet, Five Sketches by Degas, An Ancient Chinese Goo, and A French Imperial Eagle Finial. Although the case remains unsolved today, the authorities do have some theories. Art is often used as currency on the black market, so it was most likely stolen for that purpose. Boston also has a history of being a hub for organized crime, so several of the named suspects have connections in that world. There are a lot of theories, but no one has come forward to claim credit, even after 30 years. In 2013, the FBI held a press conference to let the public know that they considered the case open due to some promising leads. Although they did not specify what the leads were, it did give hope that the works were still out there somewhere. They also reminded the public that there is a $5 million reward for information leading to the art's discovery and that the statute of limitations were up. However, these things weren't tempting enough for the thieves and or the owners, and each piece is still missing. <laughs> 